Stakeholders, you will like it. So as you can see, teams are really enjoying this class. These are people that are experiencing Scrum in a classroom environment, but they're not just learning it from slides, they're doing it. You saw the energy as we had that sprint review. These guys are pumped about doing this development and then showing what they've built to a room full of stakeholders that maybe don't quite see things their way. A lot of energy, a ton of fun. And why is that? This is because we develop real software. We have developed software in this special class in uh, .NET and in Java. We have uh, used the real tools that these development teams use outside, um, like Visual Studio, like uh, Team Foundation Server, slash VSTS, Java tools, uh, IntelliJ, Eclipse, whatever. Um, and we have worked with a real team. So uh, it was not just a group of people um, doing exercises. This was a team working on a problem. And this all is backed by theory and principles. People learn about the theory and the principles here in the class, about the Scrum framework, about DevOps practices, uh, emergent architecture, how to build quality software, and they can just practice it during the sprints here and come up with uh, something uh, which is a done increment uh, after not more than two hours. So the fusion of Scrum practices and tools makes this class unique in a different way. We don't go too deep on any one of those topics, otherwise this would be like 20 days of training. But in those three days, we see how those three legs that all development teams must experience day to day can come together in a balance that lets them be productive, focusing on the how and letting them not generate technical debt, work to passing tests, don't design more architecture than you need, and get an increment that's done while having fun and improving as a team. We hope you check it out www.scrum.org slash PSD.